I'm standing here at one of the most important sites in Richmond that most people don't know about. This is at the very foot of 17th Street here in Richmond, where Abraham Lincoln landed when he came to Richmond on April 4th, 1865. There's no marker or statue or anything to commemorate the event, but what used to be here, right underneath Interstate 95, was a bridge that connected Richmond with a sandbar on the other side of the canal. Now, Lincoln's intent was to come up to Richmond uh, with a naval escort, your flags flying, it was going to be a big event, and Admiral Porter was going to be in charge of this. He really wanted this to happen, but through a series of events that are really too ridiculous to describe quickly, that entire naval flotilla had boiled down to one rowboat in which sat the president, his son, Admiral Porter, and several other officers, as well as a crew of sailors that rowed them, literally, up to Richmond. And they landed right over there on that sandbar. And as he crossed this bridge with his entourage, he was almost immediately recognized by now former slaves who had been, who had been put to work here by the Union Army to repair this bridge. And imagine that moment, enjoying their first day of freedom being put to work by the U.S. Army doesn't look much like freedom. But now, over this bridge comes that telltale tall black hat and that long black coat, and you know that's Abraham Lincoln. He was immediately spotted and mobbed by this crowd of now former slaves that keeps increasing. As now, Lincoln and Porter have a big problem. They've got to push through this to try to get to their ultimate goal at the White House of the Confederacy to meet with the Union authorities there. And I'd like to just take a moment and imagine that day and imagine that feeling as Abraham Lincoln came into the capital of the Confederacy.